In Creole Parametric, you can use the branch command to route from the active pipeline to another pipeline. Here I have an assembly model. There is a big blue pipeline going across most of the graphics area. I have three other pipelines from pumps that I need to route into it. So first off, let me reduce my screen clutter. I'm going to select my skeleton model and hide it. Let me zoom in over here. Let's get into the piping mode. I'll go to Applications, Piping, and I'll switch over to the pipeline view so I can reduce my clutter. Let's expand the unclassified group. So I've got my main pipeline, and then I've got the three pipelines coming off of the pumps. Let's start off by routing from the second pipeline. I'll choose Route Pipe, and then select the pipeline, and my start point is in the correct location. If your start point is not in the correct location, you can use the set start command to place it where you want it to be. But at this point, all I have to do is click on the branch command and it opens up the branch pipe dialog box. The first thing that I need to select is the reference. And you can see from the tool tip that I need to select the reference to place the branch on. And this is going to be the other pipeline. Let's select this one and I'll pick it about over here. And you can see that right now we have an angle and there's also another dimension off of the screen. There are five different ways in which you can locate the branch point on the second pipeline. Let's go through them. The first one is at a specified length. And this one is using 1600 and some change. There is a roller wheel that you can use in order to change it. You'll notice that there is an angle that's updating along with the change to the distance. There's also a flip button that allows you to change to the other end of the selected pipeline segment. The second option to use for dimensioning is using a length ratio, a value between zero and one along the length of the pipeline that you're branching into. In other words, it normalizes the length of it. And similarly, you can use the roller wheel in order to change that length ratio. The next option that I have is grayed out. This is to measure a distance from the previous corner. Well, I'm going into a straight line segment. It doesn't have any corners, so I have nothing to dimension to because there are no other corners. The fourth option that we have here is a distance from a selected plane. So if you've got some other reference geometry in your model, you can use that. And the fifth option and the last option is to have a distance from a fitting. And typically fittings are put in later on. This is an option that's only available for spec driven piping. If you take a look in the upper left hand corner of the piping ribbon, here is the box that you can check in order to do spec driven piping. Spec driven piping is a lot more setup work involved in there. Maybe at some point I will do some videos. But the option that I like to use here is an angle. And I know that I want to come in at a 90 degree angle, so I will select that one. And this option is only available when you're doing an angle branch, which is the situation that I have in this particular location. So I've got my angle set up. There's one last option in here to control the placement using an angle. And in that situation, if you ever select the modify dimensions command or edit dimensions command for that branch segment, you'll be able to see that angle dimension, but you won't be able to change it. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to check that option and I will click on the OK button. So that is good for my first branch. Just to show you a couple more times, let me get out of the route pipe command and then activate it again and go to the third pipeline. And right now my set start is in the wrong location. So I'll choose set start and I'll pick this segment end. And let me make sure that I am going to use the length ratio, make sure that that is set to a one. So I'm going all the way at the end of that segment. I didn't exactly get the segment point, but that is good. So now let's go to the branch command. And once again, I will select the pipeline that I want to branch into. I'll change the angle to 90. 
let's lock in that angle and click on the OK button. So that's good for the second pipeline. Well, let me go back to the final pipeline that I have in here. And the start point is in the right location for this one. So once again, branch, select the other pipeline, change it to 90 degrees. And then I can lock that angle down and click the OK button. So in that way, I've created three different branches in three different pipelines going into a main pipeline. A couple things to be aware of, when you create these different branches, the connection points will be on the center lines of the pipeline. And later on, when you go to generate solids, it will automatically create cuts in the solids at the branch points.